Hello everyone, this is Alan from Technology Moments and here yet another video about connectivity and specifically a Wi-Fi 6 adapter that you can connect to your computer conveniently to a USB port, ideally a USB 3.0 port. Even though Wi-Fi 7 is coming fast, Wi-Fi 6 is gonna be the standard for quite some time. There may be many reasons why you might end up using a USB adapter as this one. The most common one is that your computer came with an adapter that, simply put, is just outdated. It's incredible how even a few years ago, still there were computers in the market using wireless and internal adapters as if they were not capable of handling Wi-Fi 5. Now the same thing is happening with Wi-Fi 5, but considering that there are so many good Wi-Fi adapters, it may not be such a big deal. In the box, for this particular unit, you'll find the USB adapter and that's it. I do not feel very comfortable connecting such a big USB device as this one directly to my laptop. There may be many situations in which just moving it around may result in just damaging your device or even worse, your laptop. That being said, it might be a very good idea to connect this device to a docking station, a USB extension or an alternate USB port not directly connected to your computer. Installation could not be any easier, as once you connect the USB, it is recognized as a storage device where the drivers are. Then the device can be used just as your internal network adapter. Two main aspects that we have monitored for a couple weeks in permanently used computers, stability and performance. As for stability, we found solid hardware, without any stability issues or any connection drops. Of course, every once in a while you might experience some packet losses, particularly due to interference. This due to crowded spectrum and typical Wi-Fi problems. Nothing critical and most importantly, nothing noticeable. As for performance, we used it as our main connection in the computer that I use the most, not only for browsing but uploading videos to our server, of course not huge files but a few hundred megabytes at a time and performance was very good. However, I couldn't notice a significant increase in speed comparing it to the Wi-Fi 5 adapters that we have used. Of course, we also have very good access points. One of the reasons I chose this particular device is that I wanted to check how cheap can it be for anyone migrating to Wi-Fi 6 if they don't want to pull apart their laptops, something that we have already experienced many times. Thank you very much for watching, remember that the idea with this video is to let you know what to expect from this device, so in case that you decide to buy it, you make an informed decision. See you next time.